Hey guys, what's up Taurus? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So I really apologize to you guys. I was gone so long. I was sick for a while and then, you know, life happened. So I apologize. I'm so happy to be back though. So, alright. So, Taurus. Uh, sorry, I've been gone. Alright, what's going on? Got a little obsession there. I don't know if that's you. And then, it might not be obsession. Maybe you're, yeah, we'll see. Alright, so Taurus. Um, kind of look like obsession. Not on your part though. <clears throat> Looks like you're feeling good. Alright, so remember the energies can go both ways. Remember it's a general reading. Please make sure to like and subscribe below. You're manifesting something big. It's taking time though. And it's still kind of at the beginning stages is what it looks like. Alright, so Taurus. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below. Alright, okay, thanks. Alright, I don't like that. So, somebody's trying to figure some shit out, basically. Like, really, I mean, there's, there's some stress around it for some. There's something that came in the way here. And I just say that because the fact, well, I mean, I say that because that's how it feels. Three of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and you got somebody over here. Um, I mean, it could be you, uh, but with the Seven of Cups there, it's like trying to make a choice, trying to make a decision here, and a lot of stress is around that. <clears throat> Show me that Nine of Swords. Somebody's really wrapped in their head about their heart, pretty much. It would like to break it down, or like, you know, something that hurt here. Alright, the Eight of Wands, this King of Cups, could be a Cancer Scorpio, or it could be anybody, all signs are down there. Somebody's trying to come back around, they're trying to talk, but they're really freaking nervous. Show me that Eight of Wands. So it looks like, you know, they're trying to communicate. Seven of Wands, you have two sevens here, so do a lot of reflection. Remember where you've been and where you're trying to go. Yeah, see that Six of Cups. I don't know. Maybe somebody feels like they have to defend themselves here for something with the Seven of Wands. That is kind of a defensive energy. But the energy around it is also like backtracking. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's you know, dialing the number and not hitting the send or something like that. But this is a past person. Um... It doesn't have to be romantic-wise. It could be, like, an old friend from back in the day or something. But somebody's been having you on the mind a lot. Uh, could be, like, looking at pictures. Show me um, that Three of Swords. Because it definitely feels like... Um, well, I mean, there's been some type of pain. There could be some type of distance here. Show me the Six of Wands. You're moving away from that, though. So this is, sorry, it's the Six of Swords. Yeah, the Queen of Wands. You're moving past that. Uh, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but it does look like you have a lot of options here. But with the Six of Swords, it's like pulling away from that pain. You have somebody approaching you. They could be younger, could be a Scorpio, but like I said, it could be any sign. With the Ace of Cups here, you have something that's, that, you know, love that it looks like it's trying to reignite. Gemini energy. This this looks like somebody, you know, that you ended things with. But with the Death card and the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups in the middle. So actually, this could have taken a long time because the Knight of Cups is the slowest moving Knight of the deck. But um, this is like the card even says it's like a rebirth type thing. You could be meeting somebody also that's completely brand new because for the outcome, you have the Seven of Cups. So that's that's about having options, having choices, and the Queen of Wands definitely has that. Um, show me the Seven of Cups. This person is, like, very into you. Uh, or, like I said, it could be more than one, but it feels like, you know, you're pulling away from something. You, know, you could have moved, you could have traveled, something like that. But the Queen of Wands is a really feel-good energy. Very energetic, very confident. People are attracted, like, just drawn to her. Show me the Seven of Cups, please, for Taurus, for the outcome. So somebody's trying to figure things out. 
I mean, it could be you, yeah, the higher thing that you, but you do have an opportunity that's, that's coming. Tell me more about the outcome. And it looks like it's taken a while. Yeah, the Page of Cups. It's just like this, um, Queen of Wands energy. It's just very, um, almost like free spirited. Tell me more about the outcome for Taurus. One more, please. Thank you. The Four of Wands. Damn. You're getting a lot of stability. For some, you could be moving into a new home. Um, it actually looks like with the Four of Wands there, that's like six and with the Hierophant. You're getting a lot of stability here. But I, it, it could just very well be within self. This could be also um, with the Ace of Cups. This could be like a new relationship that's starting that, you know, will go um, towards something that's committed. Because with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, somebody could be like trying to take it. This, this could go like to the next level. If it's not that, give me one more. <clears throat> Then it's just, yeah, oh, shit, the justice. Something here is going to, like, lead to marriage. But I keep seeing, like, you have some something that's hidden here in the background. Like, some type of an awakening. So somebody is moving, like, making the choice to move forward. But then there's this five of swords and the moon, Cancer, Pisces, energy, where it's kind of just like, you know, what did I do? I don't know. It kind of feels like there's somebody from your past who's like, damn. But anyway, sorry. With the Four of Wands and the Justice card, that's Libra energy. But this could be, yeah, the Fool. You're feeling really freaking good. Like almost like a childlike energy. Like just a lot of happiness here. But sorry, I keep getting sidetracked. That Four of Wands and the Justice, that can, that can be marriage. You might be, um, something is really balancing out there for you. You're taking some type of chance, and, like, the energy around it is really amazing. Alright, Taurus. I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.